Hey guys, it's Shan, the founder and CEO of Shades by Shan Cosmetics, and today I'm here with our pro lead makeup artist, Jessica Alvarez. What are you gonna teach us? We are gonna contour and bake with our contour palette and our loose setting powder. Can't wait. So what are we starting with? We're starting with our contour palette. Yay. It has four amazing shades which cater to a variety of skin tones. This amazing soft, smooth, and buildable formula will help blend and define the areas of the skin to make that structure stand out more. And we all like that chiseled look, right? Yes. So, so it kind of gives you that sun-kissed tan that you, like if you went up in the sun for a little bit oh, and gave you I a little that. glow. Let's, I mean, let's be real, I, I do need a tan right now, so. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> let's get up, started. <laughs> Going back with Latte, we are gonna apply to the hollow of the cheeks, starting at the ear area. Circular motions, blending it upwards to allow that natural glow to come through. And we are choosing Latte for her skin tone because she has more of that light to medium complexion, which Latte would suit her skin tone. It won't be too bronzy nor too ashy. Um, so this would be the perfect shade for her contour. Applying it at the jawline, back and forth, then blending it towards the ear to get that nice three effect or E effect. So the purpose of a contour is to define and sculpt the structure, the structure of the face. So that's why you would want to contour to create that illusion of more of a definition, like a defined cheekbone, a little smaller forehead, half a chin. There you go. <laughs> I think it looks good because you're doing it. <laughs> Gonna go back in with Latte to the tip of the nose. Sweeping it a little bit just to create that nice bronzy nose and it'll just connect the whole look. And when I say this formula is nice and smooth and buildable, this is the reason why. You don't wanna have so much of a pigmented product that will apply so much product into the nose where it just concentrates. Yes, and so you don't wanna have just a little brown nose. A reindeer nose. <laughs> and now what are we moving on to? We're gonna continue with our loose setting powder. So exciting. So what's amazing about our translucent powder is? It does have some soft blurring particles that actually smooth out the under eye or any fine lines around the skin. Ooh, and we could all use that, right? Yes. <laughs> so there's two different types of way that I will be teaching you on how to do this. One is for mature skin and the other one is for the person that wants to um, highlight the under eye or make something stand out a little bit more, more brighter. AKA baking. Yes, baking. So for those who have mature skin or feel like they have a little bit more of those fine lines showing, the way that I like to apply it is with the cap, you will find that there's some of the powder. Just go in with a brush, dust it off very lightly. Go ahead and look up. And then we're just gonna dab on the under eye because we are setting the concealer that we applied. And then just blend it out. And this will ensure that your fine lines are not showing um, when you're applying the loose powder. Now to start off with the baking, I love to use a sponge. This will ensure that a lot of the powder is set in the under eye. Look up. So what's good about baking is that one, it does emphasize the under eye, so it will highlight that area. Two, if you are a fan of fun colors or you use darker eyeshadow, it will create that nice shield from your eyeshadow falling. So it will be a lot easier for you to correct your foundation versus not having that loose setting powder under it and trying to wipe off 
the any excess that uh, falls from the eyeshadows. I always hate when that happens. So yeah, adding a little thick layer under there, that way you could just dust it off if you're doing like a correct smoky eye and you have fallout, you just wipe it off and you're good to go. Right, and then also you can use this loose setting powder to chisel out the contour that we applied earlier. So the way that I like to do it, beginning by the ear, the hollows of the cheek, moving it towards the mouth. You will leave that and then bring that down. Leave that for a couple of seconds if you do not want to bake. Now if you want to go ahead and bake, you are welcome to leave it on for a couple of minutes until that sets and that will create that sharp, defined contour that you are trying to achieve. Also, I like to bring it into the bridge of the nose, just very lightly, like so, and then whatever's remaining on the sponge, on the forehead, and this is just gonna set any areas that we want to ensure that the makeup lasts longer. So in circular motions, just with a regular clean powder brush, I am dusting off that setting powder that we applied under the hollows of the cheek to create that nice chisel effect or that clean contour effect. Go ahead and this way. So circular motions. And this will ensure that there is absolutely no, no harsh lines when you're not baking. And this can also lift your cheeks as well and create that dimension. So you can actually lift your face when you're contouring and setting. Correct. Well. So now with the whole baking, Let's pretend we have five minutes already on it. Just look up, just dust it off. And you'll have that nice bright effect. And this is how you contour and set. Hope you guys learned some awesome tips and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos and you can purchase all the products we use today at sbscosmetics.com. Bye.